Hi, so I'm going to show you today how to um, um, install your SSD card when you want to replace your old SSD card or your hard disk on your laptop. Um, so when you do that, you need to make sure you have a SATA to USB cable, but um, you don't. if you don't care about transferring files from your old hard disk to a new SSD card, then you don't need to have that cable. Um, you can just start fresh. Um, yeah, so before you do that, you go to Microsoft.com, this website, and then you make sure you download your Windows 10 installation media. And uh, when you do that, it'll ask you to plug in a USB thumb drive or memory stick. You know, it, it needs to be a, at least 8 gig so you can store the files in there. It'll take about, I know, about 15, 20 minutes. And then once it's done, uh, you, you can proceed and power up and um, do the other stuff. So this is uh, my old laptop right here. Um, so I've been using it for eight years. This was my secondary laptop. And, you know, finally, you know, I wanted to buy a new uh, SSD and then you know replace it. So this is the new SSD card, uh, thirty bucks, uh, two hundred fifty gigs. So it's it's pretty good. You know I I have a primary laptop, but this secondary laptop. So, um, so you look you look at right here. You know any other laptop you see on the back side. You know before you do that, you remove the battery, right? And then um, the panel, the cover here, you slide it off. I already took off the uh, screw, and then in there, this is the original um, hard disk. And this is eight years old laptop, so this is the original one. It had one, two, three, four, four screws each corner, and I already took off all the screws um, to speed things up. And I will go ahead and unplug this cable harness. It's very critical, so make sure you're not damaging it. And then you will pull it off, uh, lift up towards you. After you remove all the bolts, screws, tilt it up and lift it off. There it goes. And then typically there are two uh, screws on this side and the others on the other side. So four screws holding uh, the hard disk in there with this case. So I'm going to reutilize this case. So um, remove all the bolts. Then I'm going to take this on off. Yep, there it goes right here. Before you um, throw this away or store somewhere, you need to make sure you get the cable harness, the adapter. So we need to reutilize that. So pull it off. Make sure the direction of uh, the cables and then uh, the pinouts and all that so they look identical at least for this model pulled it off and yeah there it goes right here so i can reuse this for this is my new ssd opening and taking it out. This is pretty straightforward installation. And it's got the same cable pinouts. The laptop computer OEMs, they make standards. Um, you know, they, they follow specs. And so you don't have to worry about, you know, at least you have a, you know, enough uh, size um, of the SSD card you can put it in your laptop. So I'm going to reutilize this case. Obviously, you know, at this time, you will have to have all the four screws back in, I mean, into this case and uh, SSD card and uh, install it. And then uh, you will plug that cable harness into that slot, right? And once uh, the SSD card has been installed, you can now install the Windows Media files. 
as you are powering your laptop up, make sure you plug it in your uh, plug in your thumb drive into your USB four port, and your laptop will uh, recognize it, and then it'll uh, automatically install the files. Um, it'll ask you though um, during the process uh, which Windows version you had. In my case, I had a Windows ten Home, so I selected the same kind. Um, when the laptop is uh, also asked for a serial key then at this time you can skip it um, or there is a, a button called like do not remember or um, something like that so you can you can uh, select that one and then uh, it'll take about another 15 up to 30 minutes and it'll do windows installation and then your laptop will be uh, just like a brand new laptop all right thanks